From your somatic project, highlight the blocks folder. Let's open a block. Double click FC16. Drop down the bit logic folder. To see the available Boolean logic commands, click the network where you want to insert new logic. Click to add a normally open contact from the shortcut bar. Next, we will double click on a normally closed contact from the bit logic folder to add it to the network. A special note here is that the network or an element on the network must be selected before you can double click to add logic from the bit logic folder. You will get a message if the network extends beyond the margins of the page. Click OK. Next, let's add a not command by using drag and drop. The not element is used to invert a signal. If a zero comes in, a one is sent out, and vice versa. So far, you have seen that you can click to add a contact from the shortcut bar, double click to add an element from the BitLogic folder, or drag and drop an element from the BitLogic folder. Select the first contacts address field. If the program option automatic symbol selection is turned on, begin typing an address and a drop down window will show you all available symbols of that data type. This option is set through options menu, customize, and view tab. You can see a demonstration for this and other settings on the view tab by watching both videos on program editor options, customize, view tab, part one and two. Double click to choose the symbol T underscore Bay 1. Select the next contacts address field. Begin by typing a T and double click to choose the symbol T underscore Bay 2. Next we will add a branch. Click the network where the branch is to begin. From the shortcut bar, click the down branch. Also from the shortcut bar, click to add a normally open contact. If you want to close a branch around a single element, click the Close Branch button. If you want the branch to extend around several elements, grab the double-headed arrow and drag to the location where you want to close the branch. Click the address field of the new contact. We will begin by typing in A and select Always underscore on from the list. The purpose of this demonstration has been to show how to add some basic Boolean ladder logic to existing ladder logic, not to focus on what the logic does. And that concludes this video.